take a look at that Winsboro stat sheet, it looks more like a stat line out of like Madden 23, not high school football. But that's just how impressive this Raiders offense has been this year. We've hit a lot of wild milestones that uh, I once dr dreamed about. Remember the name Kyler Finney. The Winsboro quarterback led all of East Texas with over 3,000 passing yards and 39 touchdowns to only five interceptions. Put in a lot of work over the summer, um, built our chemistry up, and I have a notebook that I wrote down our goals for the season, and everything's playing in its place. I've even exceeded some goals that I have, and I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, I'd definitely say he exceeded those goals. And for his favorite receiver, Hayden Deaton, well, he was the only receiver in the region to top 1,000 receiving yards, and he also added 15 touchdowns. Well, after our second game, when he threw for like 500 yards and I went for 230, that's when we realized that we could do it. We both set our goals and we both achieved them. It's been a storybook season for the Rugged Red, but even after a 6-0 and start, they still had plenty of doubters. But that all changed one night early in October. It was definitely the Mount Vernon game. There was the most people I've ever seen in a stadium in Winsboro my entire life. The battle of Highway 37, this time between two undefeated rivals, and it was Winsboro that emerged victorious. An emotional win that meant so much more than just the scoreboard. You know, I'm just, I'm speechless. I'm so proud of these kids. You know, the way they have turned a corner here, and now we're, now we're one of the teams to be talking about now. And like Coach Finney said, now Winsboro is the team that everyone's talking about. Uh, you know, got us this nine and one spot, one point away from being ten and zero. Um, you know, but just been able to to get to the Friday night lights and the playoffs in East Texas, just a special season. 